education will take us from the cradle to the grave. And I think it's just showing the endlessness and the seamlessness of education. And I think I like that idea because when people will see education as an endless journey, uh, they will always be involved in lifelong learning. And I think that's an exciting part of education for me. It's an interesting word, education, um, because it's very confused these days with knowledge and just knowing stuff and being able to recite dates from history and things like that or formula rather than applying it. So good education is when you look at it in the round where you do need facts, you do need to know the three, fours or twelve, it's pretty, pretty useful. It's good to know how to spell and, and so on. But actually it's the application of all that to real world things. And so it's, it's very hard to find good stories of a good education when you only talk about school. You've got to talk about the informal and the formal. I love uh, in education uh, discovering the new world, discovering the new things, uh, the new experience. And uh, when you learn and describe a lot of things about other people or other countries that you didn't know earlier. I love about education the fact that we have the opportunity as professors, as administrators, and as policy makers to transform the life of students, to offer them a better life and to give them a passport for a better life. When I want to explain it to people, I usually use a photograph that I took of my granddaughter. And she was maybe four years old, and she is looking up in a tree where there is uh, a mountain cat and her mouth has dropped as far as it would drop. And, and her eyes, you could just see the, the picture captures the whole moment. Oh my God, that's so cool. If we could create that in learning, if we could remember that that's what our job is, is to help people understand that the world is so amazing that it's worth our time to learn everything that we can about it to make their mouths drop well that's a good education the big thing about learning is just making the person who's learning inspired in some way so inspiration is the start engagement with all their senses so that you take them forward with their heart and mind to a desire to learn even more. Everyone has their own ideas about what education is all about. So when you first come with some ideas what it should be or should have been, after a while when you start talking to different groups, actually you start feeling the diverse expectation, different aspiration, and also you know different perspective. Everyone has a say in the area of education because everyone had gone through their own piece of experience. Well, good learning is when the pupils and students get involved and do it themselves. It's the doing and understanding that's really critical to it sticking with you and it becomes part of you. Then you can teach it to someone else. And so it's being immersive, being engaged, touching the learning experience and being part of it yourself and then you learn. When we were young, our teachers say, repeat after me, and we repeat. Repeat after me, one, two, three, and we say, one, two, three. Today, the young people are different. They want to build knowledge. They don't want to follow instructions. They want to know why. And that's not worse or better, that's different. And we have to make them learn the way they are, not the way we are, we were. So I think the big education is not a complex of lessons and stories. I think it's the process where you teach someone how to build their knowledge. A good education is no more just a high scores uh, got by the uh, pupils in the schools. Education should build up personality. The most important aspect of education is to allow every individual to fulfil themselves in whatever way they, they wish to do. 
Now, there'll be very many different varieties of form of fulfilment, from scientific understanding to creativity in a variety of different ways, to simply expressing oneself, uh, sometimes to uh, preparing oneself for a particular life course and profession. But the most important thing is that every individual should be able to select what really is important to them and become equipped to do it. Good education is education that adds value to the individual. And an individual who then goes out and adds value to society. What is important is that you ought to be well equipped for anything and everything in the world. And this is the challenge for many schools now is to be able to you know, prepare every individual to play an active role as a citizen, be able to play an active role in the social, cultural, economic, and political life of the country. Good learning, in my view, is when a child uh, understands and, and identifies the particular talent that, uh, as we know, each child ha has been given, and that that talent is then nurtured uh, and it enables the child to, to then go out and use that talent to be productive and useful in society. And I think that's something that every child should uh, have taught to them, to uh, have aspirations and to be aware of their aspirations, not to be restricted by narrow thinking. It's a process in a sense that prepares you for life uh, and it prepares you for your life and your opportunities. Uh, it's not something which is fixed or, or narrow, but it's something which uh, engages with your capacities and capabilities, and it, uh, it is about development of those uh, capabilities so that you fulfil yourself as a person. But you are part of society, part of a community that has serious challenges, and unless you constantly remind yourself that it's not about me, but about us, and you know, the African expression, this, the South African expression, is a wonderful one of Ubuntu. I am because you are. In other words, I gain my being and my affirmation as a human being through you. And, and unless I recognize that reality there, uh, I would not be able to succeed as a member of society. I think the most important thing is to give them a fundamental value system. A value system that is geared towards uh, uh, making the world a better place to live in. A value system inculcates a sense of discipline, a sense of ownership of the world, and uh, towards improving the quality of all our lives. If with the new technologies that are in being introduced, that will trigger change. But you have to simultaneously challenge the conventional model of education. So I think we will be needing a lot of much more collaborative learning, um, much more personalized learning, uh, much more networks, because we're shifting from a, an emphasis of transmission of information to social construction of, of information. I think education becomes more and more important um, uh, in a world that is more and more complex. It's important. Every kid should have the right for an education. But what is very difficult and is really what I would like to see and what we've been working for uh, is that it, it has to be good education. I think that one of the tragedies in our world is that education is probably the only way uh, you can diminish uh, inequality. And in many countries, education is, is rather another tool for increasing inequality. So giving better education to those kids that are uh, the ones in the most vulnerable situations. If you go to people and, and you work as if it was possible, uh, then most of the time it becomes possible. So don't doubt about the possibilities of changing. It, it, it is possible, and if not, at least give it a try. I can say that the future of education is bright. Uh, what we are seeing in this Education World Forum, bringing together ministers for education from countries all over the world, and of course, the professionals that are also on board to discuss issues that are working in certain countries and the challenges that are also happening in most parts of the world. The important things, I suppose, are that at the moment we have to accept the incredible diversity of education systems between different countries. But what this forum is about is really getting a consensus on what is going to work for everyone in the future.
I loved the idea of countries using technology being able to leapfrog decades as they have the resources to change their education systems. You know, as, as cliche as it may seem, it's the future of the world. And uh, I think we have an opportunity uh, through the use now of technology that that world is broadened for these young people. And uh, I'm willing to bet they will engage and, and change the world. I think education is the future because when you are educating the people, you are creating the future. Somebody said the best way to plan the future is to invent it. Then when you are doing education or developing education, you are creating the future, you are inventing your future, then is the best way to plan it. العلم هو مفتاح التعايش مفتاح معرفة الآخر مفتاح التسامح أما الجهل فهو مفتاح للشر مفتاح للعدوانية وكلما ارتقت الأمم على مستوى العلم كلما تجهت نحو السلم والتعايش إذا علينا فعلا أن نحارب الجهل وبمحاربة الجهل سنفرض التعايش والسلم عبر العالم